Hello, Chris Turnpole here at Turnpole Health. Wanted to put out a real quick video to help clarify the antibody testing that we're doing. I've had a lot of questions about the antibody testing we're doing. I know that some have said there is no antibody testing available. There absolutely is antibody testing available. Uh, the antibody testing they're saying is not FDA approved yet. However, there are certain uh, diagnostic companies, lab companies that are listed on the FDA's website. Right now there's currently 13 of them that are doing antibody testing for the COVID-19. It is under what's called the emergency use authorization because most of this testing has to be done. And then they do a look back or a retrospective study on what it means. So we're not exactly sure what it means yet. The testing is not the PCR or the testing that is done to convert, confirm whether you have active COVID or not. This is not a diagnostic test to say you have COVID right now. That's not what this test is. Um, this is an antibody test to help us determine whether or not you've seen COVID in your body before. Now, different testing companies do different antibody testing. There's pieces to this COVID that we're looking for, and you, some testing sites will do two pieces, some will do three, some will do four. Uh, the lab that we have chosen to use does four. They're the most of any lab. And if you have seen four pieces to the COVID virus, there's a pretty good probability or almost a, high, a very, very high probability that you have seen COVID and you have developed immunity to it. We don't know this yet because we don't know confirmatory people that test positive to the antibody who have had COVID who three years later don't get reinfected because we don't have the three-year studies. So I want to put that out there. Uh, what we do know is that the COVID-19 test is differentiated from other coronaviruses. So we know that the testing we're doing and looking for these antibodies are different from other coronaviruses. They're showing that there is some differences, but we do need longer studies. So this is not the end-all be-all test. It's gonna go through many different um, permutations and combinations. Right now, we feel this is the best test out there. It is, in, it is on the FDA's website as a valid, uh, not valid, strong word, as a recognized testing center for antibodies. We don't know what the antibodies mean. There's four antibodies we're looking for, three different ways. The gold standard would be what's called an IgG positive antibody. The more of those you have, the more likely you are to have developed immunity to COVID-19. They're working to parcel out these antibodies that are being tested are specific to COVID. We don't know that for sure because we don't have a three-year look back and we're not gonna have a three-year look back for another three years. Um, Again, the lab is listed on the FDA's website. It's not a diagnostic test to see if you have COVID right now. It's a look to see what is the probability you've been exposed to COVID. So I wanted to give some clarity on the testing we're doing, why we've chosen the testing center that we've chosen, and what it means. So it's not diagnostic to see if you're sick now. It's potentially diagnostic to see if you have been exposed and you have recovered and you have developed immunity. So I want to put a brief little um, information video out on the testing. We're doing the antibody testing that is available now. So when you hear there's no antibody testing, there absolutely is antibody testing. We're not exactly sure what that means yet, but there is antibody testing available. Please contact us with questions and I hope this was informative. Stay healthy, stay safe. Thank <laughs> you.